This recording is going to show you how to use the feather tool in um, GIMP. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the selection tool and select something. Um, I'm also going to zoom in. Let's say that what I want to do here is um, take a look at my body and let's say I just want to select the person surfing. Who is myself? And I want to have a nice little feature around them so it looks like, you know, it's kind of fading into a nice white background. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my person. So I've selected the selection tool in GIMP, which is simply the circle up top. You know, there's a circle, square, and a lasso. I'm going to select my person. Um, so you can see that I'm selected. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to select the select option and select something called feather. Um, a little box is going to pop up and I am allowed to pick how many pixels I would like to feather. For this example, I'm going to choose 25, which is quite a bit, but I want you to be able to see the effect. I'm going to select OK, and you're going to see that nothing has happened. Um, right now, if I delete what's on the screen, or cut, Notice that I am disappeared from the picture and there's a nice white hole in the picture. Um, I actually want the opposite effect of this. So I'm going to undo that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go select invert. What that's going to do is it's going to select everything but what's actually selected right now. So I'm going to select invert. Um, and if you notice if I scroll up to the top of the screen you can see that my image is now selected on the border. So actually everything is selected but what's in the circle. So now if I go to edit and I cut, notice that I have now simply just selected my person and it's a night white box. Um, and if I go to select and I deselect, it's a select none, notice that I now have a nice picture, a nice faded effect, something you might see in a yearbook picture or something similar.